Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed the Qur'an as a remembrance for us. As a remembrance for mankind to remember him. And so that they would reflect and ponder upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and his signs throughout the creation and ponder on his divine names and attributes and his mercy and that he is ar razak he's the provider and he is the sustainer and he is the creator of the heavens and earth al khaliq and this is a ni'mah from the ni'amillah azza wa jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabih al-kareem, wa anzalna ilayka al-dhikr litubayna lil-nasi ma nuzila ilayhim wa la'allahum yatafakaroon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and we have revealed uh, to you the remembrance, which is the Qur'an, in order to make clear for mankind what has been revealed to them, in order that they would be of those, those thinking people, those people who contemplate. And ayul ahbab, this is a great na'mah for us if we take the opportunity to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by reading the Qur'an, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the divine speech of Allah which is not created which is one of his divine attributes, subhanahu wa ta'ala, kalam Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. So this is a great na'mah, and it's a source of guidance, and it's a source of remembrance for those who yatafakkarun, those people who reflect and ponder upon the creation and the majesty of their Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who reflect and those who come back to the Qur'an and those who reflect on the Qur'an and those who implement the Qur'an in our lives. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.